You've heard the stories about Yellowstone, haven't you? The supervolcano lurking beneath the park, ready to unleash a cataclysmic eruption that could blanket half the continent in ash. It's the stuff of nightmares, Hollywood blockbusters, and endless speculation. But let's take a step back and talk about something less cinematic, yet way more fascinating. Yellowstone isn't just about those three massive eruptions everyone obsesses over. The real story. The one that S. been quietly shaping this iconic landscape for millions of years is found in 75 smaller, lesser-known eruptions. These are the subtle, constant rumblings that reveal the true heartbeat of this geological marvel. What if the biggest story about Yellowstone isn't the eruption we fear, but the ones we've forgotten? Yellowstone's supervolcano label is both a blessing and a curse. It's iconic, sure, but it casts a long shadow over the park's more nuanced history. People imagine a sleeping giant, dormant for eons, waiting to explode. In reality, Yellowstone is anything but dormant. It's a living, breathing system, constantly reshaping itself through smaller volcanic events that Don T make headlines, but are just as critical to understanding this place. These 75 minor eruptions, scattered across millions of years, are like the fine brush strokes in a masterpiece, less dramatic than the big strokes, but essential to the full picture. Let's set the stage. Yellowstone sits atop a hot spot, a plume of molten rock rising from deep within the Earth's mantle. This hot spot has been active for at least 17 million years, leaving a trail of volcanic activity across the Snake River Plain before settling beneath what we now call Yellowstone National Park. The three massive eruptions, 2.1 million, 1.3 million, and 640,000 years ago, are the headliners. They formed the massive calderas, reshaped the landscape, and spewed ash across continents. But between and after these giants, smaller eruptions have been quietly at work, adding layers of complexity to Yellowstone's story. These 75 minor eruptions aren't just footnotes. They include lava flows, rhyolitic domes, and explosive events that, while smaller than the supervolcano's biggest blasts, were still powerful enough to reshape valleys, redirect rivers, and leave behind clues about the park's restless nature. Some of these eruptions happened as recently as 70,000 years ago, which, in geological terms, is practically yesterday. They tell us Yellowstone is far from sleeping, it's a dynamic system, constantly evolving. So what do these minor eruptions look like? Unlike the cataclysmic caldera-forming events, these smaller outbursts were more localized. Picture a lava flow oozing across the landscape, cooling into rugged basalt or rhyolite formations. Or imagine a series of explosive eruptions, not big enough to blanket the continent, but powerful enough to carve out craters or scatter ash across what's now Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. These events, documented through decades of geological research, include things like the formation of the Pitchstone Plateau, a massive rhyolitic lava flow from about 70,000 years ago, or the smaller tuff deposits found in the park's northern regions. Each of these eruptions left its mark. Some created new landforms, like domes or ridges, that hikers tread over today without realizing their fiery origins. Others altered the park's hydrothermal systems, feeding the geysers and hot springs that make Yellowstone famous. For example, the West Thumb Geyser Basin, a stunning lakeside feature, owes its existence to a smaller eruption about 150,000 years ago that formed a mini-caldera. These events might not have reshaped the continent, but they be sculpted the park at S iconic scenery in ways we are only beginning to appreciate. You might be wondering, if these eruptions were so small, why care? The answer lies in what they tell us about Yellowstone's past and its future. By studying these smaller events, geologists piece together a timeline of the hotspot's behavior. Each eruption is like a chapter in a book, revealing how the volcano has evolved, how often it stirs, and what it might do next. 
These minor eruptions show that Yellowstone's volcanic system is active far more frequently than the rare catastrophic events suggest. They're proof that the park is a living laboratory, not a ticking time bomb. Take the Lava Creek Tuff, for example. This massive deposit from the last major eruption 640,000 years ago is well known, but smaller tuff layers from more recent minor eruptions tell a different story. They show that Yellowstone's magma chamber is constantly refilling, shifting, and releasing pressure in smaller bursts. These events act like a pressure valve, potentially delaying or preventing the kind of massive eruption everyone fears. In other words, these minor eruptions might be Yellowstone's way of letting off steam. Geologists have spent decades mapping these smaller eruptions, using tools like radiometric dating, core sampling, and satellite imagery to uncover their secrets. For instance, the Mesa Falls Tuff, formed about 1.3 million years ago, is one of the Big Three eruptions. But smaller lava flows and ash deposits from the same period reveal a more complex sequence of events. These minor eruptions often occurred in clusters, with periods of intense activity followed by long, quiet spells. By analyzing the chemical makeup of these rocks, scientists can trace how the magma chamber evolved over time, offering clues about its current state. One fascinating discovery is the role of rhyolite, a silica-rich volcanic rock that dominates Yellowstone's smaller eruptions. Unlike the basalt flows you might see in places like Hawaii, rhyolite is thick and viscous, creating dramatic domes and flows that harden into striking formations. The Solfatara Plateau, for example, is a product of rhyolitic eruptions that occurred between 160,000 and 70,000 years ago. These flows didn't just reshape the landscape, they altered the park's geothermal plumbing, creating new pathways for hot water and steam to reach the surface. These eruptions aren't just geological trivia. They're part of Yellowstone's allure. When you walk through the park, you're treading on a mosaic of volcanic history. The steaming geysers, bubbling mud pots, and vibrant hot springs are all tied to this ongoing activity. The 75 minor eruptions have helped create the park's unique ecosystem, from the heat-loving microbes in thermal pools to the wildlife that thrives in the valleys shaped by ancient lava flows. Even the park's famous wolves and bison roam landscapes carved by these forgotten eruptions. For early human inhabitants, like the Native American tribes who lived in the region for thousands of years, these volcanic features were sacred. They didn't have our modern tools, but they knew Yellowstone was special, a place where the Earth's power was palpable. Stories of steaming ground and boiling rivers likely shaped their myths and traditions, a testament to the enduring impact of these smaller eruptions. So, what does this all mean for Yellowstone today? The 75 minor eruptions remind us that the park is always changing. While the chance of a supervolcanic eruption is vanishingly small, geologists estimate a 1 in 730,000 chance in any given year, these smaller events are far more likely. They could include anything from a new lava flow to a hydrothermal explosion, where underground water flashes to steam and blasts through the surface. These events wouldn't end the world, but they could disrupt the park, close roads, or alter its famous features. Monitoring these smaller signs is key to understanding Yellowstone's future. The U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory keeps a close eye on seismic activity, ground deformation, and gas emissions, all of which can hint at what's happening underground. Recent studies suggest the magma chamber is only partially molten, with about 15-20% liquid magma, enough to fuel smaller eruptions, but not necessarily a supervolcanic one. The 75 minor eruptions give scientists a baseline to compare against, helping them predict what might come next. Yellowstone's supervolcano will always grab the headlines, but its smaller eruptions deserve the spotlight too. They're the unsung heroes of the park's history, shaping its landscapes, fueling its geothermal wonders, and offering a window into its restless heart. These 75 events remind us that Yellowstone is more than a potential catastrophe. It's a dynamic, ever-changing system that's been sculpting beauty for millions of years.
So, next time you hear about Yellowstone's supervolcano, think beyond the Big Bang. Picture the countless, smaller eruptions, each one adding a layer to the park's story. They're not just geological events. They're the pulse of a living planet, beating steadily beneath one of the world's most extraordinary places. Let's celebrate the full story. Not just the eruptions we fear, but the ones we've forgotten. The ones that make Yellowstone truly unique.